Hey guys, Jeff here with Passive Income Unlocked, and this is the No Stone Unturned case study update number four. So at this point, we are four months into the site, um, so we don't have a ton of traffic yet, but it is starting to go in the right direction. I'll jump into that a little bit further below. Before we do that, let me pull up a screenshot of the number of posts on the site. So as you can see, we published roughly 40 posts in February, a little bit down from January, but as I uh, mentioned in the last video, that's going to fluctuate. Uh, we're basically trying to outsource 40 to 50 posts a month, and then whatever we get back, we publish immediately. Um, it's typically, typically about 10 posts per week, um, but I do think that we're going to scale back at some point in time in the near future, probably to one post per day. And the reason for that is to simply extend the lifespan of the site. Um, we did pick a pretty broad niche, uh, but with that being said, we want the lifespan of the site to be as long as possible, so we don't want to be pumping content into it too quickly. Um, we've already front-loaded the site uh, pretty heavily, almost 200 posts now. Um, so at some point soon, maybe it might be three months out or something, we'll probably scale back a little bit. Um, so next, not going to spend a lot of time here, but indexing. Mentioned last month that we we kind of hit a roadblock there. We were kind of flatlining. I think we're past that now. Um, if you're wondering what was going on there, go ahead and check out the last video. But as you can see in the screenshot there, it is starting to go up again. Uh, we don't seem to be having any problems indexing new posts. So the whole goal of this um, case study, if you missed it, I'm, I'm going to link to the whole playlist in the description below here. But the whole goal is to build topical authority and see what the, the uh, effect of that is, uh, both on the short-term growth of the site and the long-term growth as well. So we want to see, will the site grow more quickly if we really thoroughly cover topics? Um, and also, will we start to rank for those higher competition keywords long-term as well? So those are kind of the two things we want to see here. So I thought at this point in time, um, we've built out four and a half clusters now. So I'm going to bring up a screenshot for you here. These are the number of posts per topic cluster on the site. Like I said, we have about four and a half. So that fifth one there is uh, still a work in progress, about halfway uh, done there as far as what we've published. Um, so all of our clusters so far are roughly 20 to 40 posts with the exception of that first one. The reason that that first one is so high uh, is, is because we didn't really know what we were doing yet with the keyword research approach. Um, I mentioned in an earlier video, I believe that as we started to do more and more keyword research for the site, we started to figure out that because we're covering everything so thoroughly and we don't want duplicate content, um, instead of covering um, individual keywords separately like we normally would, we're grouping a lot of content together or a lot of keywords together in some of our posts. So let's just take for an example, like a bicycling site. If you're targeting a keyword like how to ride a bicycle in the dark. And there's another keyword that's like how to ride a bicycle with a flashlight. You know, typically we would just target one of those keywords and you know, whatever's lower competition, we would target that post it on the site and move on. In this case, because we're targeting both, we want to target both keywords um, to be thorough. We're going to group those together because there's going to be a lot of duplicate content in those posts. So as we started to figure that out, we started taking more of a topical approach with the site. Um, there's still a lot of um, articles that uh, target individual keywords, probably about half of them, uh, but the other half do target uh, several keywords at once per post. So that's why you see in that graph that I pulled up a second ago, where that first uh, topic cluster, we had a lot more posts because we were taking our typical approach of targeting uh, one keyword per article. And we started to group going forward from there. And now we're, we're seeing less posts, even though we're covering everything just as thoroughly. All right, so next, let me bring up the traffic on the site so far. And I'm going to show you a few different screenshots here. So the first one, um, this is basically our last or our four most recent sites. So the case study site is at the bottom there. Um, traffic by month, this is only organic search sessions. Um, and the reason I did that is because early on in the site, you know, maybe I'm visiting the site or you have one visitor that's going over and over in the same day viewing a bunch of pages or whatever. I didn't want that to be reflected in these numbers here. So we're just looking at organic search sessions. Um, I'll probably switch this to page views as we start to grow a little bit further, because that's what we typically measure on our sites. As you can see there though, um, site number six, case study site is growing more quickly than our other sites by quite a bit. And one reason that we're really excited about with this site growing so quickly is that even though we've published almost 200 posts, that's, that's about the same rate that we probably published on those first three sites as well, by the way. Um, but even though we've already published 200 posts, about half those posts are, are targeting higher competition keywords that we know we're not going to rank for anytime soon. When you look at it that way, you're basically saying that about 100 posts are producing the, the uh, sessions that you're seeing there. And when you compare that to our older sites where we might have had twice as many posts and they were targeting all low competition keywords, that's a really good sign for this site. And again, that's a big part of this case study to see if really covering topics thoroughly and doing a lot of internal linking, if that helps to boost 
you know, those even the lower competition keywords and then eventually the higher competition ones as well. All right, so next I'll bring up another screenshot. This is from Google Analytics. Again, we are looking at organic search only. This is for the lifespan of the site. So we started the site on, I think it was November 7th. So basically four months, a little bit under four months here in the screenshot. As you can see, um, the peaks and valleys are going higher and higher as you move on and that's exactly what you wanna see. So everything's looking great there. Uh, next screenshot that I will bring up, this is the last screenshot I'll bring up. This is from uh, Search Console and this is the organic searches from Google itself. Um, I mentioned last month that while our organic searches were growing, uh, most of it was coming from other search engines like Bing, Yahoo, and so on. Now we're actually starting to see Google send some traffic our way. So this is a great sign, of course. And as you can see towards the end of that graph there, um, it's really starting to spike. And going into March, it's actually continuing that spike and it's just going higher and higher. So we're hoping that next month when, we, when I do this update, we'll see even more traffic, but we'll have to wait and see what happens there. So guys, that's it for this one. I want to keep it really short um, and simple for you, but basically the whole approach of this site is to cover topics as thoroughly as possible, see what the impact is on the short-term growth of our lower, uh, lower competition keywords and the long-term growth of our higher competition keywords that we're targeting. Um, so far, we're seeing a lot quicker growth than compared to our uh, older sites where we really only target low competition keywords. So definitely a good sign. Um, we're going to have to wait and see. I think probably between the six and nine month mark is where we're, when we're going to really start to see some answers as far as if what we're doing is working well or not. So guys, keep, uh, keep your eyes peeled for another update in about a month. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one.